Welcome to the Edit Photos and Images with PicPic tutorial. I'm going to walk you through how to change the size of a photo or image, add text, add an arrow, etc. Remove or fix a section of an image or photo, fill in some color, and image on top of a photo. To learn how to download and get started with PicPic, view the tutorial screen capture with PicPic. To open a photo, click on the icon in the upper left of PicPic, then click on Open. A new window opens. You then select the image that you want, and then you can double click or just select it and click on Open. The other way to open an image is that you right click on an image or photo, you then scroll down. Click on Open With, and then select Pick Pick. Now, normally Pick Pick does not show up, so what you have to do is down at the bottom you see Choose Default Program, and that's how you set it up so that you have that on the list when you want to open up an image with that particular program. First, I'm going to walk you through how to resize this photo. You click on Resize, then select Image resize slash zoom. You then can select the percent, like 40%, or you can click on scale to a specific size and then change the width and height. You then click on OK and you'll notice that the image has been resized. You click on the icon in the upper left, then you select Save As. A new window opens, then you change the file name like putting a 1 in. Then you can save the type of file that you want, but I recommend keeping the default one of PNG. Once finished, click on Save. The new file name now appears. Next, I'm going to walk you through how to add text and show you another way to resize. In the lower right, you click on the minus button. It goes down to 50%. Then you click here, drag it down to extend the image. you notice that the color is blue because up here you'll see background color and this is the foreground color. I'm going to move over, click on A which is text, move your cursor down, left click and hold and drag to the right to establish the location and size of the text. When you let go it automatically says please input text. You then go to the text box and then you can adjust it and then put in the text that you want like Positano. Next I'm going to walk you through how to add an arrow. You go up to the tools section. You'll notice there's different types of tools that you could add. For example a curve, line, and so forth. Then you make sure that the arrow is highlighted. You scroll down find a location, then you click and drag and you'll see the arrow shows up. And I'm going to go up here and change the size. I'm going to select 8 and then I'm going to come down and then you need to click here and drag down so that you extend it. I'm going to change the color. I move up to here I click to change the background color to the foreground color. I'll zoom back in so you can now see the color change. Next I'm going to walk you through how to remove or fix an image or photo. I'm going to redo to remove the arrow. Then click on select. You scroll down. You click and drag to get the size of what you want to select. Right click and then select copy and scroll up and click on paste. It shows up in the upper right Then you click on it, hold the click down and then drag it down over the top of this boat. You then can adjust the size. You click to finish. I'll zoom in and you'll see the results. Next I'm going to walk you through how to fix a panoramic photo that I created and showed you in the edit photos with Windows Live Photo Gallery 
Windows 7 version tutorial. I opened the panoramic photo, clicked on select, and followed the same process. I click and hold and drag to select this color. And I do the same thing where I do the right click and do a copy. And then I click on paste and it shows up at the top. Then I'm going to do the same thing down here because I want to remove that woman there. And I do the same thing. I click, hold, drag, do a copy, and then do the same thing with a paste. Then drag it down and correct this section. I'm just going to continue that. I won't be showing you all, and then you'll see the final results. I'm going to crop the right side by clicking here and then dragging it to the left. And here's the final results. Next, I'm going to walk you through how to fill in color. I click on Bucket. I'm then going to show you the color, which you can always change. Then I left click and it automatically fills in the white area, but not all of it. To fix that, I go up and click on Brush. I then scroll down and then start painting. Once I'm finished, I'll show you the results. Here's the result. Last, I'm going to show you how to do an image on top of an image. I click on Select again. I click and hold down and drag to select the area, which is me. I right click and do Copy. Then I go to this other tab. I click on it and there's a new image. I right click and paste. Then I click on it and hold it down and drag it to where I want it to be. Unfortunately, Pick Pick does not allow you to crop it. In other words, to take just the head and the body and not the background. In order to do that, go to my website, www.thevillagescomputerbasics.com. Hover over Tutorials, select Photos slash Movie Maker. Then you scroll down and you'll see a full list of tutorials. And then what you do is you click on this one here, Crop Photo and Paste to another photo using GIMP then you can play it. This is the end of photo editing with PicPic Pic tutorial. Thanks for watching.